kind of gone differently than I expected, but nothing major, it's just all these little things. Good morning. It is so cold. Sorry, my things are always crunchy in the morning because I just coat them with conditioner. Like I just wash them in the shower, get out, and then I put tons of conditioner on them and just leave it and let it dry and then I comb it out and they're nice and soft for the day because obviously these bits that are completely white are bleached to hell. Oh, I feel wonderful I have enough energy to vacuum these rugs today. I still have Halloween stuff out because I had that cold muscle, but and now it's at this point where I have to take all the Christmas out to put all the Halloween away, and we're getting close to where we can actually decorate, so. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do a switcheroo. Anyway, I just got Sebastian to the bus just came back in and woke up Jack. Sears is on this side of the basket, closer to me, the left side. Haven't gotten the laundry upstairs yet, but I've been washing it. Let's see, what do I have to update? Today is Friday, so that's good. The kids have two days of school next week, and then they start Thanksgiving break. Sebastian always gets these little flavored waters out and then doesn't drink it all because he doesn't have enough time in the morning. So back in the fridge it goes. Anyway, today I'm driving Jax to school. Let me see. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. What's the current wind chill? She doesn't want to talk out loud. 26.6 Fahrenheit, so minus whatever Celsius is cold. And he's got a, quite a walk. It's like 20 minutes if you're fast. So I will be driving him. We'll probably leave later than when he walks. And if his friend shows up, he's welcome to get a ride as well. I have hardly any gas. I still would love to go to the thrift store, but it's not open at eight in the morning when I'm gonna be taking him. So I either have to go back out or not to be able until Monday or Tuesday. <sighs> I'm all tired. Last night I was getting to bed and I was like, I already want to nap tomorrow. <laughs> and I wasn't even asleep yet. I got this guy to the point where he just needs his name, a few touch ups, and just a little bit of shading on the background. I'm gonna start another one as a gift and I need to do that one today. I work on that one. The dog apparently needs more water. He's already had water and breakfast, but I'm gonna do that and then figure out breakfast and lunch for Jax.
everyone. I'm running a bath, so excuse the noise and excuse me if I lose my voice. I just finished dinner at 6.51. But anyway, I thought I would quickly update you on my day. It's kind of gone differently than I expected, but nothing major. It's just all these little things. So, got Sebastian off to school and then woke Jacks up. He knew he was getting a ride, so it's moving slow, but it's fine. I dropped him off. I was almost out of gas, but still said I had enough to run errands later. Nothing was open when I have to drop him off around between 8 and 8.30. So I came home and I had breakfast right away because for some reason leaving the house, it just made me hungry. My period started. My cycle was only three weeks long instead of four weeks. Like, what's four weeks? I don't ever get that, but I, I got close a couple times, so I thought things were getting better, but no. It was a short one, so that's fun. But it's just left me tired and a little bit of a headache today. After breakfast, what did I do? I was doing laundry, I needed to wash certain things that I need now and I think I was on my computer a little bit there's probably something I'm forgetting but then once the thrift store is open I went there I'm still trying to find like winter clothes I got this sweater and I think like I'm liking neons that's why I'm doing all those hats that are black with like the neon colors and I think this would look really good with like black jeans. I haven't tried it on yet. I also got a black long sleeve t-shirt that has neon colors with the Polaroid logo and like neon checkerboard down a sleeve that needs to be washed. For Sebastian, I found a lightweight hoodie with like space stuff on it. He actually already wore it because he came home without his hoodie. He left it at school like he always does and I'm not going back for that one. I'll just get it Monday. Unfortunately, it's this warm one with the fleece inside. But yeah, so I, I was hoping to find more for the kids, but they just really didn't have much. I did find a transformer. This is Bumblebee he has from the first store. is really junky. This one it still has mixed reviews because it doesn't like to stay in its car mode. It likes to pop open. But I did. I am able to transform it and it has all its accessories. It even lights up and plays sounds. Apparently it retails for $56. And I got it for $1.50. But I have to save it for Christmas. Once we get to this close to Christmas, everything I buy has to be a Christmas present. So yeah, I got a little basket too. I think that was it though. It was kind of a eh. But I do really like the sweater. <clears throat> Then I went to the store because I needed tampons. Yeah, I picked up. I also got a few things. I went to a store that I love their sliced cake at. I like yellow cake with chocolate icing, and they didn't have any. The only thing you could get it in is a half a cake for ten dollars. I'm like, I don't need a half a cake. So of course I get myself a box of cake mix and some icing. <laughs> I don't have a whole cake or a whole batch of cupcakes, but. At least it was only a couple bucks for all that. And then I came home and once again I needed to eat. <laughs> so right when I was fixing food, my aunt called. I have almost no family, very little family, but she called to let me know she was going to be going to Antarctica at the end of the month. She was supposed to go last year and they even started the trip, but they didn't make it past Argentina because the crew of the boat that was going to take them to Antarctica got COVID. So this is the do-over and she needed Christmas ideas for the boys because she's got to scramble to shop early. So I need to email her tonight or tomorrow. So that means I'm going to ask Jax tonight for sure. <clears throat> but we'll get to that. So she talked to me for like 40 minutes and at that point there was about 40 minutes left till the bus and that's just not enough time for me to set up and paint. So I just sat down and knitted for a little bit, went out to the bus stop and got him. 
Danny went and got gas in my car and then I had planned to take Sebastian to the library to do a little scavenger hunt they have set up inside because he loves those. So we did that. While we were there, Jax's school ended. So I was trying to message him saying, hey, we're at the library. He sometimes walks to the library from school, but it wasn't connecting to him. I'm like, oh, great. It's one of those days where his watch won't get on the Wi-Fi after he leaves the dead zone at his school. I need to check on this temperature. It's almost done. It needs to be like way hotter. Hopefully that bath's not cold. I'll wrap this up. So yeah, I just wasn't hearing anything. I'm like, oh, he's probably halfway home already. It was almost four at this point and the school lets out around 3.40. But then my phone rings while I'm in the library and it says his middle school's name. And I answer it and it's like, this is Jax, um, can you come and get me? I don't see you here. And I'm like, okay, I'll be right there. And I hung up, but I'm like, oh my God, was I supposed to be there? I was checking my email because he can email me. I didn't have any messages. I'm like, he didn't say anything this morning. But I like rushed Jack, the rush Sebastian out of there. And we took out our books and we were there in less than 10 minutes. But I'm like, oh my gosh, did you tell me that? I was supposed to pick you up and I just didn't hear. He's like, no, I don't think so. I think I just told my friends I'm getting a ride and <laughs> and then my watch wouldn't connect so I started to reboot it, but then it wouldn't start because I think it's out of battery. <laughs> like, uh, it just emailed me, but I told him he did the right thing. The, the office likes when the kids call from there because they don't want them to have cell phones and stuff. So that was unexpected. <clears throat> But then our metro is open. We are officially linked to the DC metro. So Yvonne brought the metro out to us. Danny went and got him. And then they brought home food and I cooked for Jax. But while I was waiting for them, Jax's bestie, his new bestie as of starting school, his mom messaged because I had given them my contact info on a little slip of paper they had asked for it since they were hanging out a lot <clears throat> and they invited him to go to a dinosaur exhibit in DC but his friend's grandparents were, were taking him and his brother who's one year younger and his brother has a sports tournament so they let him invite Jax and so that's really exciting so I've been like scrambling to get contact info and Danny's gonna give him money for things and yeah <laughs> It'll be interesting and I'm going to be a little stressy and probably tracking his watch, which hopefully works, but I got to get in the bath. So that's my update. Hi friends. I have gotten Sebastian to bed and I have edited up until this point. It's already 10. 14. <laughs> Sebastian was watching a movie with his dad and Yvonne. I was expecting it to go till 9. I got out of bed at like 8 and went downstairs and just got my knitting bag. But it, the movie was so loud. It was one of the Fast and Furious movies. I was like, uh, I'm just gonna take this for the quieter. And it took only about five minutes before Sebastian bailed on his movie and came up to hang out with me because he knew he'd find me in my cozy chair, which is currently in his big boy room, which is still just like guest room furniture <laughs> and my random chair because he wants me to be in there while he falls asleep. It won't fit in there once he has all his furniture, but we'll cross that road when we get to it. Is it bridge? It's a bridge. So yeah, he found me up there and then he wanted to play Bionicles and he wanted to earn Bionicles so he was writing sentences and then I convinced him to get ready for bed and he had a hangnail and it hurt and his stomach has been hurting I think because he's been eating too much yogurt but who knows. He took a day off and got a little bit of a break from the tummy aches but then he had half a one this morning and now it's like really really hurting so that's weird. But. It did get him into bed finally after he played a little bit more than he's sitting like, oh my tummy really hurts, I'm gonna lay down, so yeah, he's asleep. 
I want to be in bed watching videos and being cozy, not having to turn off the light at 11. I can watch videos past then. <laughs> I'm so behind on everything that I want to see. I don't watch TV, but I do have YouTubers that I enjoy. Lots of travel videos, cozy cabin renovations, and videos about living in Japan and Korea, and hair style, like not styles, but like dyeing it fun colors and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm behind. I'm so behind. But I'm gonna go get myself ready. I'm gonna run downstairs and get some water. Now it's Jax's turn to watch adult movies with Yvonne and Danny. And yeah, I'm gonna finish this out and I will see you tomorrow. Jax will be gone most of the day in DC seeing this amazing dino thing that his brother would lose his mind if he saw. We saw one from a car during the pandemic, but this is one where you get to walk through in a building and like animatronic dinosaurs. So more Jax's speed, but Jax's, or more as Sebastian's speed, but Jax is gonna love it because he's gonna be with his best friend downtown in DC and they're just gonna have the whole day together which is gonna be amazing for him so <gasps> okay good night i'm gonna send you guys a big old hug mm, come here Ooh. and a kiss <sighs> good night stay safe be kind and don't forget wash your hands